Hello, fellow adventurers. And we're back into Clock Tower, episode six. Let's do this. I swear, if we have to play as the police officer now. Fuck! How many people does Sussman kill? All right, teach. That's enough questioning. You can go on home now. Oh, we're actually going to have to do his thing. God, I've learned something interesting about... You got something? Yes, I know where the Barrows Castle is. The Barrows Castle! Yes, it's where the Barrows family used to live. Before they immigrated here. Go on. Do you know the Barrows die? I looked further and found an historical account saying that a monster was born in the castle. They must have somehow killed Zuzman back then. Good point. It's said they killed him. Has he alive now? So I'm planning to go there. Are you crazy? It's way too dangerous. As long as he is alive, we aren't safe anywhere. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Alright. One thing. Dot, dot, dot. What's that? I'm going with you, okay? Gods. Oh boy. You get to play as Gots. You Gots to be kidding me. Hilarious and original. <laughs> Hilarious <laughs> and original. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you go to Rick's house. Oh, I'm not sure that's a good idea. Let's quick save. Uh, old okay, Rick's house. Rick's wow. house. Rick Graham's house. Okay, we can't go there, so that means Rick's probably alive, so we actually did him a massive favour by not going there. So where we've got to go now? Now, what? Ah, here we go. Uh, Ellen. Oh, re oh, really? Now, what should I tell you were? Uh, we're not going for fun and games, you know! Jesus, Helen, take a chill pill. Percy, Jennifer must be worried. Oh yeah, Jennifer exists. I like, saw her once at the start, and since then she's just kind of been non-existent in the game. There's nothing for me to do here. Give me the option to go there. Breaking my balls, game. Edward seems to come back safely. Jennifer, you're a kid bastard. I'm on to you, Edward. I know you have Jennifer in a suit. Edward, thank heavens. Yes, thank you, Miss Maxwell. Thank you very much, Miss Maxwell. By the way, we are thinking we should go back to the Granite Orphanage. I don't think Edward should be staying anywhere. That there might be danger. Oh, I see. Are we going to England tomorrow? So I suppose this is goodbye. To England? Yes, we are going to a castle called the Barrows Castle. We are hoping to find some clues about Zuzman. May I go to? Edward, what are you saying? He will probably kill me too if I stay here. I want to come and help. Edward, that is a really dumb idea. Please, Kate. Well, I'm right then. <laughs> <laughs> Please look out, big Miss Maxwell. Mm. Well, all right. We'll be the first flight tomorrow morning. Why do you want to go to the castle? It's not the worst place to go. Uh, I hope it's the same layout as the castle from the first game. So that would be easy to find my way around. I think Jennifer said something about a newspaper reporter called Nolan. A solely a weak newspaper company. Well, so why haven't I ever been played as the uh, dude we were playing as at the start? The professor. I still think there's something fishy about him. I know his name's Barton, but it's just too close to Barrows. You have good timing. How so? Well, we've learned a bit of information. How did you go into England? Did you find a lead? How did you find out? Well, it was easy. The assistant inspector in charge of the case is going to England. So it was pretty easy guess. Well, I'll be. 
It's almost like you're a porter or something. And a fat man who takes pictures. He doesn't say anything. Ah, I know who the scissor man is. You can't fool me, fat reporter guy. How about it? May we join you? I don't mind, but I don't know if gods will like it. No, no problem. We just used to him yelling at us. All right, see you at the airport first thing in the morning. Okay, we're blatantly just inviting these people along so they can die. I'm sorry, guys, but you're C-list. You're gonna die. You're just there so that the schism and the someone's kill. And I feel really sorry for them. Not really. <laughs> Please. Hey, my boss says I can go with you to England. He was really sarcastic about it, though. Are you sure he gave you permission? Are you sure he didn't just go, Yeah, sure you can drop all these important cases and go to England. And it's like, oh, thanks, boss. Thanks for being so understanding. <laughs> She's going to get a call, like, God, you fucking idiot. I was being sarcastic. There's scissorman everywhere. Get back here. All right, we've been to the newspaper, we've been to the police station, we've been to the hotel. We're inviting everyone, their mother, along to come with us. Uh, let's go to the library, system and try to kill us. The general public still should not be allowed to enter. So we're going to enter. Yeah. Fantastic. I already survived this place once, so I know there's little risk of scissor and actually jumping out at me. I hope. Professor Barton Harris. We've been to the sea. What a terrible thing to have happened. Yes, but one good thing came out of it. I know where the Barrows used to live in. England, before immigrating. Here. To be fair, it's called Barrows Castle. It would have been easier to find. Yes, and I think I'll find some clues about him there. So what are we going to do now? I would like to go to England tomorrow, may I? Hmm. All right then, but our research staff will go with you. We may discover some material that will be important in the future. I suppose that will be okay. Very well then, I will go get ready. Why are we bringing so many people along? We bitch that woman saying it's not a vacation, and then it's like, oh yeah, sure, little kid, you can come without your guardian. It's an incredibly dangerous castle where the Scissorman first came from. It'd be like taking a child to a prison and just kind of leaving him there. So there you go, go have fun with the inmates. No, oh, mummy, ah! Clock Tower 4, the revenge of Edward just left in the max security prison. Filled with a million Scissorman. Because at the moment, I have a theory. Either Scissorman can teleport, or I think there might be multiple Scissormans. Because the way that he looks older doesn't make me think he could be the kid from the first one. But he did fall off the tower and it looks like he died. Then again, he's walking with a limp. But if you haven't seen the ending of Clock Tower 1, basically at the end of it, the, the original Scissorman falls off a thing and he goes kasplat. Or at least it looks like he's gone kasplat. I think they just gave me something, but I was not paying attention. God should be here at the university. Go back there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is this where to go? Our boss gave us permission to go. Oh, wow. Tim, you actually speak. And I can speak like Tim, I know. Uh, hello, I am Tim. And I am making the videos too. Yeah, yes. It's the university. Uh, university. University Research Black. University Research Black. Are you all right? Yes, I was able to get the statue, and I found a clue. Oh, right, the inspector told me about going to the Barrows Castle. Inspector, suddenly we've got ten people going to England. <laughs> Crimey! This is supposed to be serious business. Finally, my force exactly. I've contracted the police in England, and I've also arranged a rental car. From the airport. Thank you, Gods. 
We're coming to get you, Scissorman! Oh, I bet he's quaking in his boots. A child, a whole bunch of researchers, a fat cop, and... Did I already mention a child? That is fucking stupid! You do not bring a child to a place like that! This time you'll be doing the running! <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, they should just all go in there with shotguns. And a pistol might not have hurt him, but if they rip him... Whoa! <laughs> that incredible math animation. The sun is going down! Yeah, there is nowhere in England that is that green. Nowhere in England that is that green. No, I can't see a Tesco's or a chow for miles. It will be dangerous to move about in the dark. Let's camp here. Let's camp in the middle of the spooky forest. That would go wrong. Oh, there he is. I'm... Teach, have you seen Harrison Edwards? Kay is looking all over for them, but she can't find them anywhere. Oh no! Jennifer is missing too! They can't be missing! The castle! Hurry! So, this? Last scenario. Man scissor! Oh, we're at the ending! What's wrong? Teach. Everyone's waiting. Oh, yes. What happened? <laughs> okay. Welcome to Silent Hill. I wonder if we can jump here. Quick save. <laughs> there is a gaping hole with nowhere to get across. Good thing we have Sherlock Holmes on our team. So exploring this creepy ass castle for a second time. I think this is the same place from Cocktail One. This is. Ooh. Oh, sweet! Camera actually finally moves around with us. And Gots has just disappeared. He couldn't wait five seconds. Okay, let's go. Be on the eye. Be on the lookout for uh, hiding places and things we can oh. use. Hmm. It looks kind of spooky down this way. Uh, I can miss spooky. Oh! Who the hell? Is that woman? Beth, are you alright? Helen, everyone's lost! Hang in there, Beth. I want to look around some more. Are we going to still wander around here? The key to defeating Scissorman is here somewhere. I've got to find it. Beth, you should stay here. You've got to be joking! I'm not going to leave left alone again! I'm going with you! Beth, listen. Scissor Man does not care how many people there are. We have a better chance of being rescued if we split up. I've got to find a way to kill Scissor Man. Wait here. All right, I will. But you'll come back, won't you? Okay, so I think she would have followed us before, but we've told her to wait now. I hope that doesn't come back to buy us. Can we jump down now? Go on, take a leap, Faith. The whole seems to go on forever. Nice quick save this here. Right. 
Ooh. Okay, this isn't the place. <laughs> Every single time she comes in here. Oh! I don't think this is the mansion from the first game. This looks very, very different. Unless it just looks super different because it's all in 3D now. I wonder where the water is draining from. Anything up there? Oh, there's just some lovely trees. A valve is buried in the ground. It seems to be the valve to drain the fountain. Can I have it? Give it to me. Give it to me, please. I'd like it very much. No? Okay, there's a puzzle later on. Gotta remember that's there. Oh, that door is placed in the worst possible place. I bet the game designers did that on purpose, so it's harder to click on. The scary thing is, I don't see anywhere we can hide yet. This will not open without a key. Let's hope we don't find some giant scissors on the hunt for prey once more. I just know what's going to happen. The way that the light reveals in these corridors, we're going to start walking down one. And we're going to see here. And just didn't like that. Oh, is there something on the floor there? It just broke it. A stew pot! Hmm. It's like Aoni, you've got to pick up the plate shard. And then that will reveal the wallpaper. There are probably cockroaches. That is an obscure observation. The plates are smashed into pieces. What a shame. I could take one. I don't know, that might be useful. I do wonder if running actually makes it... A frying pan looks very heavy. I got kind of worried there because I thought we were starting up the scissor man chase music. Eee! Oh! It's that dude. I can't remember his name. Don't scare me like that. What's up? Did you find anything? No. Oh well. It's a good looking place anyway, quite relaxing. What are you saying? Scissorman is lurking around here somewhere. It's just a hunch, but I don't think he's after me. Because he is after you. Oh, I found this key a while ago. You can have it. I wonder which door it opens. Yeah, I wonder too. You'd better find a way to kill Scissor Man soon. That was very suspicious. I do not like that guy at all. I don't know, something about him just kind of rocked me up the wrong way. Let's follow him. Huh? Uh oh. Uh oh, hide. Oh, we've got a first encounter scissor in here. And then there's only one place you can. Uh oh. Oh no! <laughs> Stupid asshole. Wait, is he still coming after me? I'm oh, no, okay. Oh, thank God. I wonder what this used to be. Yeah, that dude walked into this room. Where did he go to from here? Shells are filled with canned goods. They've all gone bad and swollen up like that. In this can? Some cans have fallen on the floor. Some cans have fallen on the floor. Is there a secret entrance? Fuck, I don't know if that's the game messing up or it's actually trying to give us a hint there, but... That guy just kind of walked into this dead-end room and disappeared. And then immediately after, Scissor Dude comes after us. Mm. Oh, what's this? A square board has been fit onto the floor. A square board has been fit... Uh, okay. Doesn't really help me. Can I put a can on it? No! <laughs> oh well, you can't blame me for trying. 
Alright, let's get out of here. I'm not sure what that square ball is all about, but we'll have to remember that very Ooh. Ah! I've said this a million times, but I hate the sounds it makes every single time you walk into a room. This game isn't that particularly scary in comparison to, say, games like Amnesia or Slender, but I'd say it's creepier. Definitely, the atmosphere to it is... It's pine chilling, it's so cheesy. And it kind of, like, puts it right in the uncanny valley. In fact, it's got this kind of rich... Ooh! Um, what the hell? Oh, come on, man, not cool. Not cool. Whoa! <laughs> Jesus! Let's go again. If I save, and I press that again, will she? <laughs> oh well, saved. Bye, Helen! Ah! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Yeah, I think that pretty much it. It kind of confirms everything I've been saying about how dumb this no, woman is. <laughs> da, this good door. Oh. Anyway, I think that's a good place to end it on there, chaps. We're finally on the final scenario. And we've got no idea how long this is going to be. We might get one episode, we might get two, and we've been particularly frisky. We might even get three. So hold on to your shoe hats, your shats. And whoever you are, whatever you're doing, you're awesome. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.